Okay, so that's Major sleeping. He's sick today. So as you all know, Mother's Day weekend has pretty much kicked off today. And I know there's so many people running around trying to figure out what they're going to buy. Their wives or grandmothers, mothers, friends that are mothers. But this week, I really thought about, um, you know, what Mother's Day really means to me. And, um, you know, I love my children. I am so... Like, I wouldn't change my life at all um, with my two children and my one on the way. And, you know, the one thing that I feel like I would want to have in place for my children is legacy. So whether it be a business or um, something like a cushion. And, you know, we're talking money leaving something behind where my children will be well taken care of or just whoever has to take care of my children if they're still young that they will be well taken care of i think that's the most important thing and of course i want to would want to leave some type of video or story or something where they can know that this is what mommy did but the whole purpose of this is one of those main things that you could give someone as a Mother's Day gift or even gift your children as a Mother's Day gift to yourself is a life insurance policy. I mean, that's people, you know, the millennials, which would be us, um, our generation, they don't want to talk about things like that. You know, people are so caught up on saving to buy a house or building a career or getting their credit at you know 800 but in the midst of all these things while you're working on all of these things anything could happen and from the facebook posts the news anything that we see on social media people are leaving us each and every day and the age is getting younger and younger just this week alone I saw two people in Lakeland I don't know them but two people in Lakeland that passed 16 years old and 33 years old and I'm 29 my husband is 30 he's about to be 31 soon so anything could happen and just think about where you would be if you know like, what is the position that you're in now? Like, you might not have the savings account that you want. You might not have the business that you want. You might not have the career that you want. But do you have that one cushion in place for your children? It might not even be for your children. You might not have children. Do you have that one cushion in place where if you leave and you don't have children, your mother or father or brother or sister can afford to cover whatever you're leaving behind debt is something that is always left behind and you know when people leave they're not a lot of people are not prepared and i really want to truly say to the african-american community because we don't want to talk about things like that or we don't worry about things like that but knowing that i have three children and a husband that I would be leaving if something was to happen. And when I tell y'all my husband would be lost if I left today, he would be lost. And I've been reading this week about, you know, what a mother's job is worth. A stay-at-home mom or even if she works, what she's worth. And they're capping stay-at-home moms pay if we were getting paid to stay at home with our children and take care of them and do everything that we do we're at a hundred thousand dollars and in many people's lives that would be a big loss because you have to it's like you have to start over you have to figure everything out you have to and that stuff takes time and if if my husband is the one working and I leave, he will have to take off from work. He'll have to figure everything out. He'll have to pay for my funeral. And you know, this doesn't even pertain to death. This could be disability. 
if if something was to happen to me and I become disabled, I can become paralyzed where I'm in a wheelchair and I can't do anything for myself anymore or take care of my children. That's a loss as well. So I'm not just talking about life insurance. I'm talking about disability insurance. Do you have the proper health insurance? Are you prepared for the unexpected if something happens to you? And I think if I didn't get anything else from Mother's Day, if I don't get anything, I would be satisfied because I am blessed that I am able to wake up every morning and I am fully capable of picking up my children, looking at them, seeing them, hearing them, and doing what I do every day for them. Even carrying around this child in my womb right now, I am blessed that I am fully capable to do that. And I wouldn't ask for anything else for Mother's Day. That's the purpose of Mother's Day. It's not about giving gifts. As long as I can hear my children say Happy Mother's Day, Mom, I love you. You know, that's all that matters. So I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you today that if to think about your finances, to think about what you're doing for your children today. It's not about buying them all of the good stuff, all the material, the shoes, the toys, the tablets, having the cable and all that stuff. It's not about that. It's about having that cushion in place if something happens to you today. So to the mothers out there or to anyone that is looking to gift your, any mother figure in your life with a gift, I would make one suggestion and that would be in a life insurance policy or even asking them do you have the proper disability insurance do you have the right health insurance do you have just insurance period because it's important we never know what's going to happen an hour from now tomorrow or the end of the day nobody is promised any minute of the day but yet we continue to go throughout the day and we will act like we have no cares in the world or we're worried about our bills or we're worried about just I say petty stuff because life is more important than anything and if something were to happen to you today would your children be well taken care of do you have that cushion for them that they'll be well taken care of if something were to happen to you even if you died or became disabled it's something to think about and to all my mothers out there you know I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day because this is one of the hardest jobs ever being a mother and I want to bless you because God has given you a gift of <laughs> I can't even come you can't even compare the gift of motherhood to anything else God has given us a gift because many women are not able to do this. So I want to encourage you to think about where you are in your life and what kind of legacy or cushion or just preparation are you making for your children this Mother Day week, Mother's Day weekend to make sure that you will be around for them or your memories will be remembered if something happened to you. So happy Mother's Day to you all and have a blessed day. Peace.